Hey you guys, welcome to Weekly Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another twin flame reading for you guys, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. We are just going to dig right into it today. Welcome if you are new, and thank you for coming back if you are returning. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, straight out, we got doubt and we got envy. Whoa, what's going on here? Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. What's going on here, spirit? Why we got doubt and why we got envy up here? Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. So maybe there's some envy going around our divine masculines and divine feminines, and it's causing some doubt. But we got to have acceptance that we can't change the things that we can't control. Can't control if you're going to have those haters out there, baby, okay? They're going to hate. <laughs> gratitude. So definitely show some gratitude what you got going on because clearly you are blessed. Blessed. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Definitely. Wow, we got three cards. We got adversary. Ad, sorry, adversity. <laughs> surrender and abundance. Okay. All right. So I'm kind of, I'm understanding what we got going on. So adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Surrender. I can release my need to control in abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So there are going to be some adversities of I mass and divine feminine. Um, surrender and release uh, the need to control because acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. You know what I mean? But at the same time, this envy here, you're going to have haters, especially if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. People are going to always have something to say, whether you're doing it or not. You know what I mean? Don't let that, what people have to say, put doubt in your head where you don't go ahead and take that leap of faith or you don't, you don't take that new job or you don't start that new business or you don't do those things that you really, truly wanted to do. Write that book. Do all of those things that you wanted to do for yourself. Don't let anybody get in your head and make you doubt yourself. You're going to have this adversity. You're going to have challenges. Just surrender to them because certain things you can't control. Stay grateful and you will be abundant. Okay? go ahead and take that fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love fear is you manifest your own fears you will manifest your own fears that's why they tell you be careful of your thoughts because if you think it it is going to happen don't put those you put those plant those seeds in your own head you plant seeds of fear in your own head you plant seeds of doubt in your own head don't allow those things to happen just because you got people around you hating what you're doing. Just because you got adversity. Don't let that happen to you guys. I don't know who that message was for, but I, I had to give it to you. <laughs> okay, you got discipline at the bottom of the deck. So whatever you are doing, stay disciplined to it because I promise you, you never know. In six months to a year, look at where you'll be doing it. Okay, stay disciplined, whatever you're doing. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yes, thank you for that. All right, we're going to put some tarot on it. We're going to use today Santa Muerte deck. See what we got going on here for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We seem like we're standing in our power today. We ain't going to let nothing down us. Nothing stand in our way for what it is that we're trying to do here. All right, we got the Magician and King of Pentacles. Someone is manifesting and trying to get their money. Somebody is definitely manifesting what they're trying to do. I know that's right. Wow. Whoa. Way too many cards. I'm not going to take that. Way too many cards. So we're just going to go ahead and shuffle that one more time for you guys. All right. What else we got going on here, Spirit? Page of Wands. So somebody's watching. Again, we already said we know we got envy out here. So we know people are watching. And they're watching you manifest whatever you're about to do. You're about to be king of pentacles. Whether it's divine masculine, divine feminine. You're about whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It says doubt at the bottom of the deck. Keep doing it. I mean, sorry. Uh, discipline. Keep doing whatever you're doing because it, it's going to bring you that abundance. Right here. It's going to bring you that abundance. The Hierophant. And ace of swords so whatever this is it's like it's almost like you're you're being called to do whatever you're doing right now 
It's like a calling. And you got Ace of Swords here, clarity, truth, new beginning, understanding things better, understanding, seeing the truth for the first time, getting that gift from spirit to say, hey, why don't you look at it like this for the first time and watch how these doors open for you. Definitely beautiful energy here. The high priestess and you're going within you using your intuition you are letting you're being divinely guided right now you're being divinely guided to do what you're doing definitely being divinely guided the chariot and you're moving forward towards it too you're running towards it i love this deck too because it's so like i don't know if you guys can see it it's like so colorful there's so much going on in these decks uh, but you're moving towards this you're moving towards this calling definitely moving towards the calling here what else we got going on here spirit this is beautiful seven of cups so someone does have choices but be careful seven of cups is that ooh, choose wisely card here honey that is that choose wisely because right behind it you got five of cups so choose wisely because whatever you do choose whether it's divine masculine or divine feminine take it how it resonates it can cause you to walk away from something that you've invested in so definitely be careful there whatever you do choose you got eight of wands communication and eight of cups again some type of communication is going to cause somebody to walk away so divine mass and divine feminine please choose wisely because whatever this choice is here it could possibly lead to someone walking away from you twice Some type of communication is coming in that'll make that person say, All right, I'm done. Or maybe this person's walked away from you before, and this will be the last time that they walk away. Four swords, because they will walk away to heal. They will not stay. They will go and heal themselves and move on. You got to understand, it looks like Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is trying to move towards something new with some type of new beginning here. So nobody has time for the nonsense anymore. You got three of pentacles. Someone's trying to build. Someone's trying to plant new seeds. Planting new seeds, new beginnings. Nobody has time to not choose wisely. Definitely choose wisely. We should have learned by now. We got to learn these lessons or we're going to keep dating the same people over and over again if we don't learn these lessons. I promise you. <laughs> Eight of swords. And three of cups. So someone is feeling like there's like a mental, some type of mental trap here. Like you're feeling mentally trapped and something. There's some type of celebration that's supposed to be going on, but you're feeling mentally trapped. Who's feeling mentally trapped, spirit? Who's feeling mentally trapped? Seven of Wands. Two of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. And you just had King of Pentacles up here. So we know this is a twin flame. So this is Divine Feminine here. Again, she's feeling trapped. Not knowing whether this is something she wants to celebrate. Hmm. Two of Wands being impartial to making a decision. And it came up on your side, Divine Feminine. So it's looking like what's, what's happening here? Seven of Wands. What is what's what's going on here? You're fighting. What are you fighting? What are you trying to? Uh, it's like Seven of Wands is like trying to rise above the bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, what's happening here? That you feel like you gotta rise above it, and you're trying to celebrate, but it's like there's some type of something is keeping you mentally trapped here. But you're still climbing that ladder. You're still Queen of Pentacles, honey. You're still climbing that ladder to get to where you need to be. I'll tell you that. More messages, spirit. Page of Pentacles. Somebody watching your money, too. You watching your money and somebody else is watching your money. So be careful of that, Divine, for a minute. Because like we said, we had this Envy card down here. You very well may have a hater on you. You very well may have someone up there looking at what you got going on because they, they're not understanding how you're able to plant new seeds and keep growing the way you do. But they don't understand you the divine feminine, divine masculine. That's why you do that. 
Knight of Swords. So somebody is, um, somebody's like running with an idea here. What's the idea? What's going on here? What are we running with? What's the new idea? Four of Wands. Union. Somebody's running for the idea of this union. Uh, somebody definitely wants a union here. Who wants this union spirit? All right. Six of Cups. So we definitely, I mean, sorry. Six of, uh, yeah. Six of Wands. So we're leading towards a victory. So it's somebody that wants a victory. These cards, too, the numbers are on the side. So you got to kind of look and like, okay. <laughs> um, so whoever this is leading towards a victory with this union. They want a victory with this union. The Knight of Cups, he's coming to you with this love, or she's coming to you with this love. Take it how it resonates, but I really feel like that's the divine masculine chase of his divine feminine again. Because <laughs> he, he don't let her go nowhere. Let's see. Uh, justice. Yeah. What's the justice? Or maybe divine masculine feels like you are his justice. How about that? Five of Swords. But there is still some type of conflict here. What's the conflict, spirit? What's this conflict? Because somebody's feeling trapped. What's this conflict here, spirit? Thank you. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Three of Swords. And this one is a little different the way it looks. I don't know if you guys can see the illustration in there. The Three of Swords. Heartbreak. So that's the problem here. The problem is heartbreak. Divine masculine, you want divine feminine, but it seems like she's feeling mentally trapped about this celebration with this new beginning with you. Because she wants to work on herself. Uh, spirit. Can you give me some messages for Divine Masculine? The sun. One more here. And the hangman. So for the Divine Masculine. I get it. You want the sun. You want to go towards the sun. You want it. Looks great, right? You can't stay stagnated. <laughs> the sun is, it's not going to come to you. What you want, the happiness that you want, it's not what you want with your divine feminine. It's just not going to come to you if you're standing here and you don't know what you want to do. Nobody's going to give you what you want if you don't say it, if you don't show it. You're at the point right now, sweetheart, where nobody wants to hear it anymore. You need to show you need to show because you're standing here and you don't know what you want to do. You want the sun, but you don't know what to do to get to it. You're going to have to figure this out if you want her because Divine Feminine has leveled all the way up. Okay? She's leveled all the way up. Spirit, can I get some messages for Divine Feminine, please? Thank you, Spirit. Can I get some messages for Divine Feminine? So divine feminine, you are getting balanced. You got temperance and you have the moon. So the balance is here and things are being illuminated for you. and it's, it, Or things are being illuminated to the point where it's called in this balance. It's like you're coming out of this darkness. You are, you're seeing things for the first time. Um, it's like being reborn. You're you get it. You you're you're at a completion, the moon, circle, whole. You know what I mean? You get it. You've you've I've said this so many times. You've done the things. You've gone through the lessons. But the moon card in this situation for me is like you are using your intuitive powers now. Now you know who the hell you are. And it's created a balance for you. So good job, Divine Feminine. Definitely good job here. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope this reading resonated with you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.